Hi Matt, it is Thursday, January 17th, and I am losing my voice, if you can't tell. <clears throat> so that's gonna be fun for these videos. Today I actually have a topic that I want to talk about, and I've been thinking about it for a couple of days now, and it's that life is cumulative, which is a very difficult word to say, so I'm gonna try and not mess it up during this video. This really struck me the other day when I was in my dynamics class, which is EMAC 212, which you don't really care about, but it, it helps me and the people who know me to know what I'm talking about. And we had a homework problem that I had to actually use something I had learned in my calculus class from last semester, and it like blew me away that I was actually using things I had previously learned. And like I know that's true for pretty much every class I'm taking right now, but it really struck me because it was something that I, it wasn't actually like ingrained into my brain like it should have been and it's like hurting me now that I didn't know it beforehand. I actually had to email my professor and ask him what to do with this problem and then he told me and I was like, oh my gosh, that was from calculus. And then this got me thinking about how all of life is cumulative and everything you learn adds up to who you are now. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is that your thoughts and experiences that you've had your whole life make you who you are now. And I'm sure that there's gonna be like, oh, nature versus nurture, but nature can only do so much. And sure, nature gives you your hair color and like freckles and fingernails and things, but it's nurture and the people that you're around who really make your personality and who influence y who you are as a person, as a human being. So it's something to think about. For example, some people say that my humor is a combination of like yours and like Zach Wooten's. And I totally agree. Like, I think I am the girl combination of you and Zach Wooten which is fine with me because I love both of you in a platonic friendship sort of way. I'm also becoming more like Victoria, I think, because we've been living together for almost two years now. So that's a fun thing. I'm picking up some of her habits and I think we're both changing each other because that's just how people work. You are a melting pot of everyone you've ever met. Everyone influences your life, even if just in some small way. It's like wicked. It's like for good left a handprint on your heart. I'm also very similar to my sister, probably because, you know, we have the same parents, and your parents influence you so much, and your siblings influence you so much. Like, you're so much like Justin, and I'm so much like Jessica. And then thinking about all of this got me thinking about how we are at the end of the beginning of our lives, which sounds weird, so I'm gonna explain it. Pretty much, there's a theory that you are done developing when you're 25 years old, and you just turned 20, and I am turning 20 in 19 days, which is very exciting, and we're almost halfway done college, which blows my mind, because it seems like just yesterday we were in junior high learning, like, pre-algebra, and now I'm, I'm done with calculus, like, there's nothing else for me to learn in calculus which is terrifying, but really awesome at the same time. Everyone always says that college is a time to experiment, a time to figure out who you are, and we're almost halfway done with that part of our lives, which is so weird to think about. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be an adult. I don't wanna turn 20. I wanna be a teenager forever. I'm pretty much the catcher in the rye. I am Holden Caulfield. I don't know why I'm raising my hand. So that's just some food for thought on this Thursday and I will see you tomorrow because I am visiting LVC this weekend because it's a three-day weekend because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday, and that's exciting. But everyone else will see you on Tuesday when you make your video. See ya!